Okay, let's give Picasso a chance to fight back. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. In the very first tutorial of this performance series, we tested our Recycle Image View Gallery with the Picasso Library. And we didn't get such great results. But now we're going to give it another go by passing it another argument. Okay, so if we go to Picasso website, and we scroll on down, we'll see that we've got this resize argument we can provide as well. And we can provide our image dimensions, width and height, which in our case is going to be 200 pixels for both width and height. So we'll feed that into there, where it should result in smaller sizes images being loaded and hopefully faster performance. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm now going to fast forward the next part, which is going to be um, just reinstalling Picasso Library again, because we did that in the very first tutorial series. Okay, we've now synchronized our Gradle file files and configured with the new Picasso library. Let's go into the source code and call Picasso. We're going to go into image adapter and we're going to comment out, comment out Glide. Okay, so what just call Picasso? Very similar to what you do with Glide. And to get contacts, we could get that from our image view. And load the file. File is image file. And we have a resize here. I'm just going to make it 200 by 200. And into will be our target, which is our image view. And that that's all the, the only changes we have to make. Noting that the only change I made from the very first tutorial of this performance series is adding the resize. So we're resizing our images before they are being loaded into the bitmap. Well, that's what I expect will be happening. Okay, let's try running it and see what happens. Select run. And let me record what's on the device. Right, so straight out of the bat we can see that the images here are what we've fed into the resize of our Picasso library. And scrolling, okay, we're just still loading these images into the cache. And once we're loaded into the cache, we get a lot better performance. We had to manually resize the images, so um, they come out 200 width, 200 height, which is slightly different look and feel than what we've got from our implementation. You can work around that, but it is something to make a note of. Performance wise, it's it's um yeah it's it's comparable with the images in this gallery to um, our our implementation and glide once everything's in the cache scrolling quite nicely okay it, as we saw by calling the extra option resize option with our width and height dimensions it does make a significant significant change to the Picasso library um, we're getting sort of normal expected scroll behavior um, which is which is what you want um, care will have to be taken on the dimensions of the images of course um, because they get entered in the resize not in our actual implementation but yeah yeah we've got our success with Picasso now 
if you're willing to read the documentation a little bit more and use the resize option that it offers. That's all for this one. If you enjoy and like my tutorials, please subscribe. Bye for now. Okay, as you can see, we have the grid gallery here. And as I scroll down, I'm gonna start adding all these images to my cache. It does take a bit of time. There is no preloading of cache that you might see in other image gallery galleries.